About 83% of you guys are not subscribed. Subscribing, clicking that like button, and commenting all help me out a lot in doing what I really want to do. Thank you guys so much for all your support. What is going on guys? Rogue TCG here bringing the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG deck profile. You all voted for it. I am responding. Here is Harpy Lady. This deck I think is very interesting. Um, before uh, I tested with this deck a little bit uh, around 2021, 2022, uh, playing with Tri Brigades and I found moderate success more to the degree, uh, more to like the um, successes of Tri Brigade rather than the successes of Harpy Lady. However, Harpy Lady does have like one or two specific cards that do read very, very well. Namely, Harpy's Feather Storm and Cyber Slash Harpy Lady are the name big main two ones that read very well uh recently there's been a third and one that's been added harpy's pet baby dragon fearsome fire blast uh this card if we can manage to get it on board and then subsequently link it off we are able to functionally send a tri brigade nerval from deck to graveyard starting our tri brigade combo without having to open any tri brigade cards now now you know what it's like it's essentially why um the deck is tri brigade harpy let's go through graphic card by card and see what the deck can actually do first off we're on triple harpy's pet baby dragon uh first, first off we're on a triple harpy's pet dragon fearsome fire blast it's going to be a level seven wind dragon monsters cannot target level six or lower harpy monsters for attacks you can use each of the following effects of harpy's pet dragon fearsome fire blast once per turn if you control a level six or lower wind monster you can special summon this card from your hand in defense position and if this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can send one winged winged beast monster from your deck to the graveyard. So, what's a winged winged beast monster? Well, Tri Brigade Nerval, of course, uh, which, when sent to graveyard, can add a Tri Brigade monster other than itself from deck to hand, functionally basically turning on your Tri Brigade combo. But there is a caveat. We do need to have a Harpy monster on field in order to get Fearsome Fire Blast on board. And we need to have a way to either have this in hand or special summon this from deck. This next card, Harpy Channeler, can assist with that. We're on Triple Harpy Channeler. We can pitch a Harpy card, Special Summon 1 Harpy Monster from your deck and defense position, except for Channeler. You can use the effect of Harpy Channeler once per turn, and then while we control a dragon, Channeler becomes a level 7, uh, meaning we have access to the rank 7 pool. Uh, we can go Channeler to special uh, pet dragon from deck. Uh, main downside of Channeler. In the card text, you have to send a Harpy card from your hand to the graveyard. Uh, if we look at the breakdown of the deck, we do have a handful of Harpy cards, but Harpy cards are also very strange in the aspect where they don't name Harpy Lady or Harpy in the name of the card sometimes. One of the best cards in the deck, Elegant Egotist, doesn't have Harpy anywhere in the name. Same with Hysteric Sign. Well, there's no Harpy in the name. And then the rest of our deck, we have a solid chunk of our deck, about 10 cards being dedicated just to Tri Brigades, so none of those cards are going to be able to fulfill that requirement. Same with our non-engine and hand traps. So we functionally have a little under like 15 cards is a very generous amount, maybe 16 cards. If we count like our uh, feather storm is probably a little bit under 20. Uh, just to activate that Chandler, meaning we're not just fighting against our opponent in the aspect of being interacted with. We're also fighting against ourselves and hoping we have a card we can actually discard or want to discard for this effect. Another target we're able to summon off of Chandler, or another good normal summon of the deck, is going to be Harpy Perfumer. We're playing two of it. Its name becomes Harpy Lady when fielded in a graveyard. If it's normal or special, we can add a spell trap from our deck to our hand that mentions Harpy Lady's sisters. If we control the level 5 or higher Harpy monster when we activate this effect, we can add a second such card. Uh, funny that it says such card in the text. I think that's very uh, cute. Um, this works very well with uh, Fearsome Fire Blast, especially if we are able to get it, like a Harpy on board without normal summoning, ideally. Um, not very likely, unfortunately, because most of the Harpy flood, uh, like flood the board-like effects, like Elegant Egotist, they need you to already have a Harpy Lady on board, which how are you getting that on board if you aren't going to be normal summoning yet, is my question. We are on double of the original Harpy Lady, two Harpy Lady 1s, all win monsters gain 300. I just like this one the best because buffing your team is just a pretty good effect, and if you get both of them on board, 600 buff all around is not anything to shake a stick at. We are on double Harpy Oracle, it's a 4, names became Harpy Lady 1 fielder in graveyard, you can listen to the effects of Harpy Oracle once per turn. If we control a level, level, uh, level 5 or higher Harpy monster, we can special summon this card from our hand. 
pairs very well with the Triple Harpies Pet Baby Dra uh, Pet Dragon Fearsome Fire Blast and the Chandler Modulating Levels. It also has the effect if it's no more special summon, we can add the one spell trap from our graveyard to our hand. Um, this specifically lists the, uh, the card Harpy's Lady's Sister in its text during the end phase. So it's a delayed effect, uh, which isn't the worst. Uh, and it can add cards like Elegant Ego Test to your hand uh, because it mentions Harpy Lady Sisters and not Harpy uh, in the text of the card. We're on one copy of Harpy Harpist. It's a level 4 Wind Winged Beast. When it's normal summon, we can target one other winged beast monster we control and one face of monster our opponent controls and bounce both of them. So it's a nice little piece of removal somewhat. And then during the end phase of this card is in the graveyard, so it's sent there this turn. You can add one level four winged beast monster with 1500 or less attack from your deck to your hand. This is a way we're able to get Tri-Brigade Nerval from deck to hand. We also can add any of our good harpy monsters, Chandler, Perfumer, Harpy Lady 1 if we really want to do an Oracle. Only one we can't add is Fearsome Fire Blast because it has this large stat. However, uh, this card is also a good card to be sending with the aforementioned Fearsome Fire Blast, or a good card to be discarding off of Harpy Chandler in order to try and get some of that card advantage back. I've been talking a lot about Elegant Ego Test, I'm going to quickly go over it. If we have a Harpy Lady on field, we can activate a special Harpy Lady or Harpy Lady Sisters from hand or deck. If the only target in this deck is going to be Harpy Lady 1, we're playing a Garnet Ratio of 3 to, one, uh, three to 2. Um, so we are able to, because we're able to recycle these Harpy Ladies uh, using cards like Harpy's Feather Rest. So we are able to get them back in deck so we can utilize all three of them. And we do really want to open Egotist because more extenders means larger board. We're on one Harpy's Feather Duster in Archetype. That's very funny. We're on one Harpy's Feather Rest. It's kind of like a mini Pot of Avarice, but it's a real Pot of Avarice. Um, if we actually have a, like a high level like Harpy Monster on field. Uh, and then we are locked into wins for the rest of the turn. So this is something we're going to be doing at the end of the turn ideally. We're on double hysteric sign on activation. We get to add an egotist from deck to hand, so it's just copies five and six of egotist. If it's sent to the if, at the end of the turn, if it was sent to the graveyard from hand or field, we get to add three harpy cards with different names from each other from our deck to our hand. That is insane. This is one of the very few cards in the deck that can actually search harpy's feather duster. It can actually search harpy's feather storm uh, because these two cards specifically. Do not mention Harpy's Lady Sisters in its text, meaning we cannot search it off of Harpy Perfumer. These are cards that we just need to natively draw or search via Hysteric Sign. We're on one Harpy's Hunting Ground. All Winged Beast monsters gain 200 attack and defense. If any Harpy Lady or Harpy Lady Sisters is normal or special, the player conducted the normal summon targets one spell and trap on the field, and that player destroys the target. That is not optional. So if our opponent has no spell traps, we have to pop our own spells and traps obviously ending with us having to pop our own hunting ground we are on probably the best card in this deck triple harpy's feather storm to control a wind, a wind winged beast until end of turn negate any monster effects your opponent activates or if we control a harpy that is a hand trap um so great card it's just a fantastic card well designed no issues at, no issues with this card design great we are on the Tri Brigades. I'm going to briefly go over them just because they're a little bit more well known. We are, Tri Brigades all have the first effect where if they're on field on ignition, we can banish Beast, Beast Warriors, or Winged Beasts from our graveyard to cheat out a Link monster from our extra deck. There's one of those three subtypes based on the amount of things we banish. So we banish two, we can get a Link two out. Banish three, you can get a Link three out. Four, Link four, so on and so forth. Um, and they'll all pretty much have a secondary effect of some sort. Nerval says when it's sent to the graveyard, we can add a Tri-Brigade other than Nerval from deck to hand. Fractal lets us pitch it or send it from field to graveyard in order to send a level 3 lower Beast Beast Warrior or Winged Beast from our deck to the graveyard. Chaos lets us discard a Beast Beast Warrior or Winged Beast to special it from hand. And then Kit, if sent to graveyard, lets us send a Tri-Brigade card from a deck to graveyard. We are on Double Revolt, the main reason of playing the Tri-Brigades is it searches the Tri-Brigade Revolt. We can special summon any number of our Beast Beast Warriors or Winged Beast Monsters that are banished or in our graveyard, negate their effects, and immediately after this effect resolves, Link summon a tri Brigade Link Monster using only those monsters as material. We can only use the Revolt once per turn. This allows us to go into Shurig, which is a banish that does not target, which is great interaction. We are on one call by the Great Fairy Hand Trap Prevention, Triple Ash Blossom and Joy Spring, and Double DD Crow. This is actually searchable in this deck with the aforementioned Shurig if, really, if we really want to have it. And DD Crow is just generally really good being able to target banish any card in the graveyard. Um, so, great stuff. Nice solid 40 uh, card deck. Deck list is under $50 in the main deck. So, 
Great stuff. And I mean 40 card deck, not $40. <laughs> we are going to the extra deck now. We're on one copy of Summon Great All Mirage. This is mostly here in order to link off Tri Brigade Nerval and Tri Brigade Kit if we open it in order to get our Tri Brigade half of the deck started. We're on double Farage on Ignition. We can special summon um, a Beast Beast Warrior or a Wing Beast from our hand to, um, to our field. And if it's sent to the graveyard, we can draw a card and then put a card from our hand on the bottom of the deck. We're on, double, uh, we're on one Harpy Conductor, and he's two Wind Monsters. This card's name becomes Harpy Lady Wind Fielder in Graveyard. We use each of the following effects of Harpy Conductor once per turn. If a Harpy Monster we control would be destroyed by a battle or card effect, we can pop a Spell Trap we control instead. One of the main ways we can get Hysteric Sign in the Graveyard, which is great. We're on, um, and then also has the effect of another face of Harpy Monster you control would be uh, is returned to your hand. You can target a Special Summon Monster or your opponent controls and bounce it. So... Bound, uh, it functionally will turn that Harpist effect into a double bounce. It'll also function uh, pretty decently with Cyber Slash's effect, where we'll notice where our cards really like bouncing stuff. We are on one Bear Brum, the ramp per, uh, Rampager. When it, the main purposes of this is when it's sent to the graveyard, we can add Tri Brigade Revolt and then put a card from hand on the bottom of the deck, so we're just running the one of. We're on one Rugal, can quick effect on our opponent's turn, bring back a monster that bounces back to hand at the end of the turn. Great for triggering our Harpy Conductor in order to bounce that. Uh, if we summon a Harpy monster with it, it'll bounce back to hand, and our Harp Conductor will trigger and bounce an opponent's monster. So, great stuff there. I already mentioned Shurig. Uh, if it or another Beast Beast Warrior or Wing Beast is summoned, we get to banish a card on field, non-targeting. And if it's sent to Graveyard, we could add a Beast Beast Warrior or Wing Beast uh, whose level is less than or equal to the amount of Beast Beast Warriors or Wing Beast banished. So, if you have four banished, you can add level four or lower, so on and so forth. We're on one a Desperate Doom Eagle. It's just Graveyard Hate on a Wind Wing Beast. Great stuff. One Ancient Warrior's Oath Double Dragon Lord is another way to bounce cards. One Apollosa Boat of the Goddess. And if you ever wanted to do that old Tri Brigade combo where you can climb from Al Mirage all the way to Apollosa. We're on one Baguska because it's a, uh, we have a lot of fours in here and we have the ability to make rank four, so might as well put a plan B in there. We're on one Draco Sack. Uh, it's just a funny card. I liked it. It's not too expensive. And we're on one big eye. It got reprinted recently, so not expensive either. And then our last card in the list is one Cyber Slash Harpy Lady. It's a tuner and non-tuner. Oh, what? We're not playing any tuners. But this card's Synchro Summon. You can treat one Harpy Monster you control as a tuner. Oh, there's the solution. This card's name becomes Harpy Lady when I'm feeling the graveyard. When a spell trap or card is activated, except in a damage step, quick effect, target a monster your opponent controls, or one Harpy we control, and bounce it to hand. You can use this each effect of Harpy Slash uh, Cyber Slash Harpy Lady once per turn. So, it's just a great piece of interaction. Your opponent activates a spell, bounce a monster they control to hand. We activate a spell, bounce a monster they control to hand. So, great stuff all around. Um, so, the deck, it's pretty decent. It's not great, I'm going to be completely honest. It doesn't always work, unfortunately. Um, the Harpies are a very gimmicky archetype with multiple waves of support with years in between where it's a little bit confused. Some cards aren't searchable with normal means, some cards are. Some needs to be searched with Hysteric Sign, others can be searched with Perfumer. It's just very confused. I very much like the archetype, however, I really hoped like a couple of years back that it wouldn't necessarily become something like this and had more of its own identity. And I really hope someone can do something with Pure Harpy Lady or the Harpy Lady deck in general in the future. But that's gonna be about it from me. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all later. Bye-bye. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you wanted to talk to more Yu-Gi-Oh! players like yourself, I would highly recommend checking out our Discord server. Link is going to be in the description, as well as the QR code on screen. We do talk somewhat frequently about Yu-Gi-Oh! and the current meta, so I would really enjoy to see you there as well as we do recently now have channel memberships available on our YouTube channel, where we have three different tiers. We have Super Supporter at $2 a month, where you get loyalty badges, emojis, guaranteed comment responses, a shout out at the end of every video, as well as access to the members only Discord channel, where you get early sneak peeks at future videos. There is the Giga Supporter at $5 a month, where you have early access to all new videos about a day or two before they go up, as well as all the previous offers. And for $15 a month, we do have our final tier, which is going to be Femboy Fanatic. You get a guaranteed customized video every single month, as well as one hour of my time. Could be for anything you'd like. You want a duel? Absolutely. You want me to help build the deck? Absolutely. You want to play some Helldivers? Sure. I'll do anything for an hour once a month.
but supporting does help me out quite a lot and it does help me produce all of these videos so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll be seeing y'all later bye bye